Adding assignments in JMC is very easy to do. We use the term assignment to mean any gradable item. So it can be assignments, quizzes, daily participation, units, whatever you want to do. We can only put assignments in after we've added in categories. So if you haven't watched the how to add a category video, you should do that first before watching this instructional video. So once categories are entered in, to add an assignment is very easy. Simply come in, choose the category by clicking on it. That'll put it right here, daily work. Then click the button right here that says add assignment. I click add assignment, I can put the assignment name in. Daily work, I might put in here page one questions. What's the max score? 25 points. What's the date that it's due? Choose the date listed here and click save. And that's all there is to it. Want to add in another assignment? Click add an assignment. It will add under the daily work category because that's the one I'm already on. Add an assignment. And maybe this is page 15 review. What's the max score? 20 points. What's the date that it's due? And click save. There's my two items there. Now if I'm a weights person, it's going to tell me that this category is worth 30%, and this assignment right here is worth 44% of this category, and this one's worth 25% of this category. If I'm a total points person, it just tells me at the bottom there's 45 total points in this course, 20 points for this assignment, 25 for this for 45 points in this category. Let's add a test in. To add a test in, I'll click test, I'll put the category right up here, click add assignment. Again, assignment is that universal name for any graded item, we'll call this test one, and again, you could name it whatever you want, volcanoes, dinosaurs, doesn't matter to me. Max score, 75 points. What's the date that it's due? Click save, right there. Now it tells me I've got 75 points in this category, 45 in this, for a total of 120 points for that particular item there. So entering in assignments is very easy to do. You want to make sure to put in the max score, of course, and the date that it's due. The sort order is not used very often, but if I wanted to actually sort this one right here above this one just on this screen, I could actually put this one at one and this one at two for sort order. It's not done very often. I wouldn't do that because on the assignment score screen, they're listed by the date that they are given or the date that the test is proctored. If you want to delete an assignment, you can simply come in. You can either edit it to be whatever you want because every assignment is editable, including the score and the date, or you can delete the assignment listed there. If you have any questions about this, give us a call at JMC.